Well, good morning, good morning, and welcome to the channel. Today you join me while well, I'm quite local. I'm actually in Runcorn. More specifically, I'm on Holton Hill. It's been a bit of a rush to get here this morning. It's currently about quarter to six, and I shouldn't have really bothered. So this location is particularly good for taking images of the bridges across the Mersey. It's elevated, it's got a great direct line to where the bridges are, and yeah, you can get some really good shots. But the weather just isn't playing ball. I was checking the weather forecast all day yesterday just to sort of see what it would do, and it's really delivered some real murky looking weather. Let me show you. So we've got this real light haze that's just covering everything, and uh, yeah, believe it or not, there is actually a bridge in the distance. So I think my original plan is scuppered. I'm not sure what it is about its location, but every time I come in the morning, it's absolutely awful. The evening, it's perfect. The morning, it just, it's always something. It's always something like this. So I'm not gonna be defeated this morning. I'm gonna stick around, do some photography if I can, get some B-roll, get a decent video out for you guys, and uh, yeah, cue B-roll. So the sun's just making an appearance now, and what I'm hoping is that the sun will burn this mist away, hopefully give a bit of a clear, uh, clear view down, uh, but it's really not happening yet. Don't know, it's a very strange one. Uh, looking across the hill now, I can just sort of make out the bridges, or I can certainly make out one of them. Um, so yeah, we'll, uh, we'll see what we get. It's really a case of fingers crossed. Right, let's set up, see what we can get, and uh, yeah, I'll make a judgment when I get down there. So it's really quite a strange location this. It's an old castle ruins that's connected to a pub. I think the pub is part of the original building. Might be wrong on that, but it's based here, pretty much in the center of Runcorn. And it's something you wouldn't really expect. When I was a child, I used to drive past here. I, mean, I didn't drive, my parents used to drive, but um, we used to drive past here many a time. And I never knew it was here. I just thought it was a, a, an old hill. Uh, but then discovered it when, when we got dogs and uh, yeah, we're looking for places to sit, dogs for a walk. And uh, yeah, probably discovered about 20, well, 30 years ago. Gosh, I feel old. So you can go into the pub, have a couple of drinks, and have a walk around the, the old grounds. It's really quite strange, but quite unique. I don't know, I might have to come back out tonight. I might have to make room in the schedule to, um, yeah, come back here and, and finish this vlog off here. It looks completely murky and miserable all the way around.
Well, you can probably tell by the light on my face, we're starting to get a bit of light. Now, what I'm hoping will happen is the sun will start to burn this mist away, suddenly over the Mersey, and um, yeah, hopefully just give me something. The side of the bridge is already lit up. We've got some nice um, leading lines uh, of the, the natural, well, natural road, the way the road goes around onto the bridge. Um, and yeah, the structures are all being lit up quite nicely by the sun, but uh, yeah, it's just not enough with that mist. I just can't get anything uh, anything worth, worth taking. So uh, yeah, still still a waiting game. So uh, yeah, fingers crossed. I keep saying that, fingers crossed, like that's gonna happen. Come on, son, let's give us some heat. Let's get that bridge cleared and uh, yeah, let's get some images. <sighs> So in the past hour it's actually cleared up a little bit but it's still quite hazy it's still a little bit too hazy to actually take anything from so what i've done i've actually changed my tactics i've sort of changed my thought process and images and i'm going for minimal shots now i'm hoping this will work i'm not sure if you can see in the distance you probably can't because it's difficult to see here with my yeah with my eyes um, but there's actually fiddler's ferry in the distance as well so i've taken some minimal shots and what I'm trying to do is, is use this mist, use this this morning to try and get something a little bit unique, something I wouldn't normally do. Hopefully it's working. And I think when you're on limited time, you've got to be able to adapt. And I think that's where, as photographers, it's difficult for us to actually sort of look at location and break out of our normal photography process. Normally when I get to a location, I like to look around, have a bit of a scout around and, and sort of understand what sort of images I want to take. And they're probably all very similar. I think we all sort of fall into the same sort of style of image when we get to a location. But when you face with weather conditions like this, sort of challenges, things you don't normally face, I think it's key to be able to adapt. And that's certainly one thing I'm trying to do this morning is just adapt to the weather. So it's not a, a failed shoot. It's not a failed vlog. It's something I'll be able to post out and hopefully Again, fingers crossed that the images have turned out okay. I'll show the images now. Let me know what you think. So as you can probably tell in the distance, the, uh, the mist has, has almost cleared up. We're getting a little bit of cloud in, this, in the sky, we're getting a little bit of depth. The only problem is, the cloud has come, now the sun is, is sort of way past golden hour. We're another hour and a half further on and uh, yeah, the, the sun's really lost its colour. It's now starting to become a bit, a bit bright because obviously that's what the sun is, bright. But I'm going to continue working this location, see what I can get and uh, yeah, it, it's just, just trial and error really. Of, of, trying to get something a little bit different trying to get something a little bit meaty for the vlog to uh, uh yeah to sort of show to you guys i don't know if you can hear that but somebody needs a new exhaust in the car 
Good grief. Anyway, uh, so I'm going to continue shooting for the next uh, probably next couple of hours and just sort of see what happens with this, this sky. As you can see there, the, the sun, uh, no, the sun's that way. The clouds are here. Um, yeah, just sort of try and get some through with the uh, with the clouds and uh, yeah, just just work the location. I think whilst I'm here, yeah, just uh, just see what I can get. So I'll uh, I'll join you in a little bit and we'll uh, we'll see what we come up with. So as the frost on the ground has started to defrost, the sun started to rise up and the temperature started to get a little bit warmer. We've lost the colour in the sky completely. It's now, yeah, it, it's, it's sort of vanished, hasn't it? Now the uh, the mist is gone, it, it sort of left us with, uh, with a bit of a clear day. There's still a little bit of haze in the distance, but uh, yeah, I'm gonna continue taking a few images, but I'm not really sure what else I'll be able to get from here. Um, one, now the sun's sort of getting quite high and the, the, the shadow's getting harsher. But I hope you managed to take something away from this video. I hope you've un sort of understood that even though I've got conditions I'm sort of shooting into distance with um, you know sort of fog and haze this wasn't the right judgment to do this wasn't the right place to come to when I left the car when I got into the car this morning it was fairly clear driving over the bridge it was fairly clear and when it came up here the mist I could almost see it come in and it wasn't mist that I could really work with very well normally in these sort of conditions you go into a forest and you'll sort of get sun rays coming through the trees that's what works the best but yeah it was, it was the wrong call to come here but i didn't know until i got here and once i'm here it's sort of too late to, to head off elsewhere so i kept with the original plan but one thing it's taught me and this is one thing that photography has always taught me is about being patient and about working the location trying to get what you can get and this morning has been all about changing your mind process through photography and understanding what else you can actually get. If you can get something a little bit different, something a little bit minimal. I've shot over towards the cooling towers, which are just over there. Did those images work? I have no idea. I've not put them in the computer yet. I've not actually seen them. I've only seen them on the back of the screen and you never can tell. But I know that there'd be more of a minimal image. And that's sort of what the approach I've taken this morning is to try and get more minimal. As the mist has sort of fairly cleared off and uh, the sun started to rise I can now get sharper images of the bridge so I'm going to stick around and uh, take a few more images I'll post the images on at the end and uh, and yeah let me know what you think but also let me know if you've actually faced these sort of challenges yourself and whether you've actually persevered actually stayed there the morning or actually cleared off and uh, yeah just sort of yeah struck it off as a, as a bad day's work so um, yeah it'd be great to hear so I'll finish the vlog here if you haven't done so already please consider subscribing it'd be great to have you on board of the channel if you've liked the video Give me the thumbs up and uh, leave a comment. Let me know what you thought of the video and, uh, and whether it was worth me sticking around. It'd be great to uh, great to hear from you. So from Holton, Holton Castle in Runcorn, overlooking the uh, the Gateway Bridge, the Jubilee Bridge, and um, Fiddler's Ferry in the distance. It's time to say goodbye. New vlog out very very soon. So I'll uh, I'll see you then. All the best. Take care. Bye bye.